Murray here with an Aussie Wednesday shave where I feature Aussie made artisan soaps. Today's soap comes from Tasmania. Cold down there. Well, it's also cold here. I live in Ballarat and it's last few days of bloody freezing. Of course, we are in the middle of winter, so it's hardly unexpected. Right. From Tasmania, uh, is it focusing? Tassie Tallow. Tassie Tallow Shaving Soap. I'll just show you the list of ingredients there because that's important. It's a very short list. It's um, tallow, olive oil, beeswax, lemon balm and peppermint essential oil. Just one, two, three, four, five ingredients. Now the reason I'm um, highlighting the ingredients is olive oil. Olive oil, from my experience, does not produce good lather. And in actual fact, if you do get a lather out of it, it just dissipates very quickly. And this is no exception. So if you're looking for a soap that you want thick creamy lather from, you're not going to get it from Tessie Tallow. However, the previous times I've used this soap, it has been very slick. Slick, slick as nails not. So, I'm going to try, I'm not going to make an attempt to generate a lather this time, because every, every time I try to use it, I'll try to make a lather. And, and it's never happened. It just doesn't make lather. So, we're going to treat it like a non-leathering soap. I'm just going to load my brush up and just paste that soapy mix onto my face. So I just did a bit of pre-shave with my little tiny piece of pear hair cube. It's uh, going to have to retire it very soon. for the day I'll just wipe my hands put a bit of alum on them I'll just shake the brush out it's my Foucault Foucault brush with a 26 millimeter maggot knot it's called the maggot black and white synthetic knot uh, you can see it's got some moisture in it a nice handle from Foucault, I call it my aqua handle because of the, the bluish and whitish top there. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to wet the tips of my brush. I've had the, uh, the puck soaking and I've emptied most of the water out, so that's the puck I've got in a mug here. And it's just a little bit of water to soften it. And I'm going to go and load my brush with a soapy mix and I'm just going to paste that soapy mix on my face and then when I need more I'll just go back to the bowl so that's it just a soapy mix it does have a the scent of Sunday roast in it. As you can see, it's just putting a layer of soap on, and even that will dissipate quite quickly. Right, we'll see how that goes. 
It's a bit of an experiment. I've never tried this before. And the Lu I've got the Lupo Razor Lupo here. Gold one, aluminium, with a uh, treat platinum blade. That's the one with the uh, uh, got one here. Yeah, with the the gold label, or orange label. So here we go. See how that goes. Yes, going very nicely, and as expected, so slick. Look at that. Yes. And your slickness and protection, but absolutely levelless. I'll slide a bit more up on my brush here and I'll put some water on my face. It's so slick that I can just shave again. The residual just keeps going. I'll put another layer on. And that's what you get normally. I've tried to lather this up in a bowl for 10 15 minutes, and uh, no matter what I do, I cannot get a creamy lather from it. As you can see, it's starting to dissipate already on my face. I'll go good. It is slick, slick as. And yeah, slick as snails, not. That's all I can say. So if you want a, uh, a soap that you don't have to spend time on leathering up, and you don't mind no leather, but want some slickness? This is your soap. Of course, it's, it's not what I enjoy. I like to have a bit of lather. On my face. As you can see, as I'm shaving, it's sort of dissipating before I even Get my razor to the spot. But now I can just wet my hand, put that over my face, and there's slickness there. Slickness, and there's a layer, I can feel a layer of protection. You can see it come up on my face when I wipe my hands over here. But It's good for that. So I'll just put another layer on. Just 
So yeah, I've tried uh, five or six soaps that had olive oil in them, and none of them uh, produce any sort of good lather. There might be some out there, but I haven't found it yet. If you do know of one, let me know. I'll be very interested. specializes in um, making fat products, animal fat products, for the culinary industry. So tallow, dripping and lard, that type of stuff. Mostly from beef, but they also have lamb. Um, duck, duck fat, lamb fat. of um, skincare products some bar soaps creams etc made from uh, the tallow the beef tallow as the main ingredient oh yeah I don't need to put any more soap on Shaving. You can see it, look, it's coming up. I just put my hand, get a bit more, do the touch ups here. By the way, the razor, the Lupo, is very nice. It's mildish to medium. Um, a small blade feel, so a small exposure, not a lot. But you know it's there. See, I'm not putting any more soap on. The residuals so good that I just gotta wet it and keep going. Maybe see the scar from last Wednesday. One there, and one there, and one there. That was last Wednesday. My skin's pretty old, so it takes a while to heal up.
Very nice. So touch on the chin there. Call it a shave, it's uh, nice, very nice, very close, pretty close, very close to a BBS. I still have my travel spots around here. Right, um, I won't chase them because that'll lead to some razor burn, and we don't want that. The aftershave is it's quite nice. The aftershave feel not the best one, but it's pleasant, very pleasant. All right, we'll just rinse that off. you expect with a close shave. Otherwise, I don't see any weepers. Maybe just one here. Uh, otherwise, very clean shave. I'm very happy with that. So that experiment worked quite well. The first time I tried using that soap that way. Just rinse out the uh, brush and I'll do the final rundown. Right, so we applied my last little bit of uh, PAA uh, pre shave cube. We used the Tassie Tallow shaving soap. Uh, with lemon balm and peppermint. Now I don't smell a lot of lemon balm and peppermint. There's a, just a little bit. I more get um, a light scent of um, Sunday roast and uh, with a, just a background of lemon and peppermint. But it's not unpleasant. It's not very strong so it's just a light scent. So I'll put the puck in a bowl. It's actually an old soup bowl. It's actually the handle's actually broken off. <laughs> glued it back on with super glue. The brush I've used is uh, the Fuko Aqua with the 26 mm uh, black and white maggot knot. The razor is the Lupo aluminium gold with a treat platinum blade. All right. That'll be my shave today. Hi, I'm back from my shower and skin very smooth. Just a touch under there, my normal spots. Otherwise, I would call it the BBS. Yes, lovely. Right, we'll just go over my post shave here. Uh, I won't use any witch hazel today. I'll use the Osage rub instead. Which is a 
house cooling. Main for lighting. Eucalyptus. Ooh, yes. Lovely. Ah. Oh, that kind of clears the nostrils. Oh. And a bit goes in the eyes. It's got a good strength of menthol in that. And I'll just finish up with some, some of the Lucky Tiger balm. my next shave which probably will be Sunday with another sample Sunday shave. We'll see you on my next shave. Thank you for watching.